Skyhoy makes new device calls all the time and now we have made support for Roland VS42H video processors and these cool devices they have 4 HDMI inputs and 2 HDMI outputs and on those outputs you can have various configurations of the inputs you can either just switch between the inputs and have transitions but you can also arrange them in uh, configurations like uh, four up or uh, three on the side and one main and then you of course you can reassign how the inputs are arranged between these regions and all of that can be done from the front of the panel including adjusting audio and uh, transition time between the various configurations but Sometimes you want to have an external panel to do just that so that the device itself doesn't have to be located exactly where you want to control it. And this is why Skyhoy developed support for um, this device. And I'm going to show you how the quick bar will work with it in this video. So if you look at the, the quick bar we have right here with the unit on the table, you see that the, the main thing I wanted to do is to show you how we can change scenes. And this is really a reflection of what is already on the first four buttons on the front of the VS42H itself. So if I press on, um, on this one, you can see the windows are, well, actually, no, you could not see those windows are arranged, as I just said. And uh, maybe that's because the inputs or the wrong inputs are assigned to it. Let's just check this out. So if we just start out with looking at this four up view, then I can change to a, a three up view right there as you saw me just do, and then I can change to a two-up view right here. But apparently I'm missing a source on the one side. So we can uh, explore that a little bit now. Um, I also have something called scene 5, which is a key function, or I can press on this one, which is the shift key, and then I can access scene 6, 7, 8, and 9. And in fact, these are just directly the inputs that are coming into my um, VS42H processor. So I'm just releasing this and I'm going back to the four up configuration. Now, if I press the upper edge on this four way button, because they, they are four way buttons, so we can do really cool stuff with it. So notice I press the, the, the lower uh, edge, which is changing into uh, you know the second layer of options for scene selection. But if I press the upper edge, I'm going into configuration of the device. And um, I'm now configuring this particular uh, config, uh, the, the uh, four of you, and we can basically turn on and off the layers. So now follow what is happening on the video next to me. You can see how I'm enabling and disabling the, the four different windows. And if I go back to where we were just uh, here, so um, let's take this one for example, and uh, I go into this configuration mode, you can see that I have a scene, a layer number three was disabled. In this case, I can now re-enable this layer. Um, oh, basically, let me see. Okay, there we go. So uh, it's uh, like that. That's exactly what we want. Uh, I now have those two sources. So it's layer two and layer four, which are now shown in this configuration. So when I go between this one and this one, this is what I see. Actually, I also have transition time. So you see this little one. Uh, it's actually reflected on this, the same thing. I think maybe this is not the knob. Is this the one? Oh, it was this one. Okay, so that we have the transition time. So if I go back to my uh, beginning here, then you can see it makes a transition. It takes a num number of seconds, which is what I just uh, adjusted. And there we go, finally there. I can adjust the transition time on this one. So again, notice the coolness of the four-way buttons. Even though it's a button, I can actually adjust the transition time uh, down to the milliseconds almost by holding down the edges and now in the other direction. Great, great, great. Now, if I want to reassign the sources on this four-up view, then I press once more and I get to this where I am now, um, I have to target which layer that I'm working on and uh, I'm selecting an input for layer one. So you can see as I'm pressing these buttons, I'm basically choosing what is on layer one, which is in the upper uh, left corner. If I go to uh, the next layer, then I'm choosing the source for, for this one. And by doing that, and I can go forth and back, I could actually select the same uh, picture for all three layers if I wanted to, which is sort of defying the purpose of having this thing. But nevertheless, I can do it. So there you see, it's a really deep, configuration. It's not really for amateurs of, sorry, I used the word amateur. That's not what I intended to do. I mean, this configuration shows you the power of the Skyhoy devices, 
but it might not exactly be what you want to put in the hand of users who just need to change between scenes. Um, but it goes to show what you can actually do with a quick bar panel along with a Roland VS42H video processor. <laughs>